We're back to the Neil Haley Show on the Total Celebrity segment. I'm excited to welcome the program. We all know him from Platoon, Greenleaf, uh, They Live, Keith David. Keith, thanks for calling. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Fantastic. Now, what role do you think you people recognize you most from? And when you when you meet people, you know, in your everyday thing, what which one do you think is the most recognizable on the streets and stuff, Keith? It all depends on the age of the person, but something about Mary seems to be a big. Uh, uh, a lot of people recognize me from that. Really, yeah one of the one of the most funny uh, scenes in the world you're in for sure uh, from something about Mary. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I thought it was fun to do. Yeah, and my wife was a huge Platoon fan, and she showed me a bunch of segments before our, our interview, uh, just saying, because I have never seen Platoon, if you can't believe that one, but uh, and you were unbelievable in that. What a cast you worked with for that, that film. Yes, that was a wonderfully unique opportunity, and it still resonates with me today. Absolutely. Now, let's so let's talk about your latest project, Union Furnace, and uh, tell me your, the character and the storyline for this for this uh, movie. Well, it's um, have you seen it? I have not gotten to see it. I've just been reading up on it, so uh-huh. no, I didn't get to see it, Keith. Okay. Well, you know, I, I believe at least for me, it's a cautionary tale about one's love of money and what, you know, what, what you, what the willingness that some people are linked that some people will go for money, you know, I mean, the importance placed on it. I mean, in a capitalistic society as we live in, you got to be careful, you know, uh, where you, where you place it. I mean, I did a movie uh, called They Live, and uh, there was there were all these subliminal messages from right them out there about money being your god, right? And be, you know, be, you know, and worship money, and if if you look at Union Furnace in uh, in terms of, you know, that kind of messaging, um, in a town where, uh, ironically, it's called Union Furnace, where, they, where, where it, it, it used to, you know, that used to be the big, uh, how people made their money, but, you know, right. uh, with, this, with this big furnace that has now closed down the so the society is extremely poor. Okay. Uh, and there are few, you know, only a few, only the, 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 the have the represented yes. a handful of people. And and what they do for sport, uh, in, you know, it, it, it was, you know, you, you felt there's a, uh, the backlash to, to, like, to the uh, Greco Roman times where people just, you know, you know, Romans throwing the Christians into the ring with lions, just the sport. And there's a big parallel here. You know, what uh, what people do for sport uh, and the length to which they would go. Yes. Because these other people are what they're willing to do for money. Exactly. When you said that there's the haves and the have-nots and there's not many haves, uh, Keith, you have a situation where people are wanting and are desperate to want to be in that position and they're going to make the wrong decisions to get there. Oh, yeah. I mean, be careful of what you ask for. Definitely. You know, you, know, you will be provided the means, but is that what you really want to do? And, and and then once you get there, if you did it in the wrong way, you're really in some deep trouble, aren't you, Keith? 
Well, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what I felt. I mean, uh, I, 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 you know, I've been saying that. I don't think that that young woman will ever spend a dollar of that money without remembering how she got it. And you, it left me wondering whether or not she'll be able to spend all of it. You know, I mean, I mean, initially she'll, you know, she'll go out and do what she says as she promises with the kids. Oh, you know, you're going to, you know, you're going to have a holiday. But in the middle of that holiday, what horror yeah. will occur to her and how much fun will she really be able to have? How long can she keep any of that to herself? So true. And that's pretty much our society today. You get to where you want and did you really ask for it? And, uh, and, and that, that's a big thing. So Keith, tell us about your character in the film. Uh, I think, I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a guy again, you know, who, who gets swept in, swept into a situation by a stranger who he meets in a bar type situation. And especially after a few drinks, you know, because everybody's situation in, the, in that movie, everybody has some kind of economic hardship. 90 so seconds. It's not easy for, quote unquote, the devil to walk up to you with a seemingly good idea, you know. Right. But that's about the fine print. You know, the fine print of the contract that says you'll be good at just you know, you'll be some of the things that you'll be doing, you may not have done it before. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh what has been the feedback from people that have seen ha, have seen the film so far, Keith? What what feedback have you gotten from people that have seen the film so far? Uh, you know, the video People have been reacting very positive. I mean, I mean, you know, it's it's you know, it's a strange kind of uh, you know David Lynchian kind of reality kind of kind of film, and so you know, and the reason part of the reason that I did it was, you know, I think Nick has got a lot of potential as a filmmaker. Uh, I'm excited to see what he does next. And this, this this film will certainly whet your appetite in that direction. It seems like it, and it's interesting. You said that some of that connectivity to they live in in so so many ways, and and I think that's what you like in your, Ten you, seconds. in your projects, Keith. Is you like working on certain projects that you know really speak to this to to the the story, right? It seems like that's the kind of stuff you like to put your to to be part of in a lot of ways. Isn't that true? Well, I mean, I you know, I I love, you know, the the, the theater, the movies. Um, it's still that place we get to explore what it is to be a human being, and I love those stories that have, uh, you know, sort of double entendre meanings. You know, it seems to be about entertainment, just and in this film, you know. Okay, under the guise of entertainment, at what price, glory? Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. So, uh, you know, yeah. it has, it has, it has definitely, you know, that kind of dual resonance, and I love those kinds of things. All right, well, fantastic, Keith. Where's the best place we can find information on you? Uh, learn more about you. Again, the film will be out August fifteenth on Blu-ray and DVD. But where can we find info on you? KeithDavid.com. Awesome. Well, thanks for calling, man. Yeah, uh, thanks for calling. Appreciate it. And everyone needs to check out the film. See ya. Take care. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. You're listening to Neil Haley's show, and we'll be back in just a moment. 